I'm going to have to use the, the, fi the finger of censorship. Four little ceramic ma mannequins? No, <laughs> ramekins. Hello there and welcome back to my office. Happy Monday. We are back at the beginning of a week and here we are talking about stuff again. So I hope you're well, good to see you. If you're new here, my name is Nick and I sell stuff on the internet for profit. That's what I do, that's what this channel is all about, talking about the ins and outs of selling stuff on the internet for profit. That's my job. Um, currently, I have an assortment of little pet shop figures all staring at me on here. Because on our Sunday Night Live, we sat here and Andrea was playing with these that I shared. Um, yeah, these will be bundled up and sold off as a bundle. They do really well. Got to find somewhere to put those. Um, but for today, I thought we would pick a select few orders. Now, we had a very mixed bag at the weekend. Saturday was amazing. Sunday was almost a washout. We ended up getting one £25 sale for a water ski. <laughs> um, but... Yeah, Saturday was way better. I can't remember the number now. Let me open it up. Saturday was 371. And it included some, some high value stuff. So I thought I would pick one, two, three, four, five orders, including one really good Etsy order. These five items totaled to 373 pounds. And I'm just gonna do them and talk about those five orders. So that's the plan. It's gonna be five cracking orders for this video. And yeah, I'll find a tripod, get you set up, and we will start. Okay, so do you remember the D&D, &D, Dungeons and Dragons stuff that I picked up last weekend, I think it was, not long ago? Well, I've sold all of it. It has all gone. Um, I sold one on its own and then I had a message from somebody if you are watching Catherine thank you again who was interested in buying everything that we had that hadn't already sold and we came up with a price now they were they were all individually listed and they were listed for it was over 200 pounds uh, lovely lovely find really excited to sell them off but I was happy with a, a quick turnover and I did what was left. I'll show you what it was. It was this lot and we did those at £150. More than happy with that. So I'll quickly show you what it included. It was the Temple of Elemental Evil, the screen, um, this Dragon Lance supplement. I put it in this bag because it had those counters and other loose bits in there. The two hardback books, the Player's Handbook and the Dungeon Master's Guide. Very nice. And another one of these extra adventures, the Gauntlet. Uh, the other one that I had, I think it was called All That Glitters Sold Before That Already. So that is all of the Dungeons and Dragons stuff gone. And the other two bits I had that I picked up in that same bundle were the Dark Crystal hardback, that's gone, and the Dark Crystal magazine, that's gone. So, to say that stuff went well is an understatement. So that is £150 in one order. Awesome. Next, if we do this Etsy order. So this is one of Andrea's items that we picked up, I think, two weekends ago. It's a jumble trail. It was in one of Andrea's videos. Um, she does her hauls and her out and about picking up videos on her channel. Link to Andrea's channel is below. Andrea's my wife, if you're new to this channel. And she does exactly what I do, but tends to pick up different stuff. She's really into her homeware and vintage ceramics. Now she bought four of these Christmas ramekins. They are Christmas Village, which is something to have on your radar. Not sure that's going to focus. Mason's Christmas Village. So it's a set of four with this little Christmassy design on. They were popped onto Etsy. And four of these little ramekins have gone for 50 pounds. I know, right? 
blows my mind. 50 pounds, so that's a lovely order. Um, I can't remember if they're going internationally. Uh, let's just have a look if that's international. No, no, going to Cheshire. So they're staying in the UK. A lot of our Etsy orders do go internationally, but this one is staying in the UK. So 50 pounds for four little ceramic ma mannequins? No, <laughs> ramekins. Right, next, let's do, blah, blah, try that again. Let's do a piece of vinyl. Um, now I let this go on offer. It's a lovely, lovely thing. This is the original first pressing of the Pixies. I'm forgetting the name of the album now, Surfer Rosa, which is, oh, I'm gonna have to use the, the, fi the finger of censorship because, um, yeah, she's topless. Um, yeah, really nice album. There she is, in a less revealing pose. So this is the Pixies, um, amazing band. They were, they were, I remember early 90s I was into the Pixies. I had the album Trompe Le Monde, and yeah, just such a, oh, an influential band. They were so out there. Frank Black was just, yeah, amazing. So, yes, anyway, I digress. First pressing from 80, I want to say 89. I don't know, is that right? Can't see a date. Um, <laughs> maybe it's on the listing. Hang on, let's see if I'm giving you correct information. Uh, 1988, okay, 1988, first pressing. Anyway, this was on at 50 and then I had an offer in at 38. Um, plus shipping and I gave in and just let it go but I dare say I could have held out for 50 it had a couple of condition issues which made me wonder but yeah still very happy with that it owes me very very little um, next what have we got I was going to share oh yes this Um, I will put the picture of this item in somewhere here so you can see this picture is actually from my nephew's wedding um, a month or so back and that sign is what has sold so it's down here in these individual boxes five six what is it one two three four five six yeah six letters or well, five letters and an and sign. Um, I picked these up ages ago and my nephew spotted them in a video I think and said Nick can I have those for my wedding? I said well of course you can but you don't need to buy them you can just I'll put them away in the loft you can use them on the day and then I'll have them back and sell them and that's exactly what we did so here's one there's the and they light up and as you saw in that picture, it looked really cool. Um, these were on at, hmm, 60, I want to say. I think they were on at 60 or maybe 70, can't remember. But we, they went on offer again. As you can see, we use that eBay's offers system a lot. And it generates a lot of sales for us. So these have been on for, well, since the wedding, so a month or so. And we let them go at £55 in the end. Um, they cost me £5, so still a good chunk of profit in there. And I'm happy to move the bulky stuff. So those are going out the door today. Next, we have another bundle that I made up for somebody who got in touch. And this is Mark. Uh, Mark, if you're watching, hello. Um, who has an eBay store, he wanted me to give a shout out. Friendly bargains for you. Um, yeah, good to speak to you, Mark, and thank you for the order. Now I had, do you remember all of those Plasson plastic plumbing parts I sold off? I thought I'd got rid of all of it until I discovered another box full. <laughs> and I made up four or five separate listings for the different parts to get rid of what was left. Now I discovered some more. Mark got in touch and said, um, 
I'm really interested in those, but I want to buy the lot. So I, I did a price. We went backwards and forwards a bit and ended up at 80 pounds. Let me show you what's included. I've actually fitted it all into a box already, so it's quite heavy. You can't really see, can you? Um, there's a bunch of these. I don't want to spill them out. Oh, I am spilling them out. No. There you go. So little parts there. There's some elbow joints like that. You get the idea. So I did everything we had left, which I discovered about a week ago. Didn't think I had any of these left. I remember when I cleared what I thought was the last of the plumbing parts, I was celebrating. Yeah, they've all gone. Well, they've all gone now, thankfully, thanks to Mark. So there you go. By the way, I've still got these here. I haven't moved them yet. They're all still staring at me. Their little eyes. Anyway, so yeah, five orders for this video. Um, very happy with those sales. And I need to get busy, as always, getting it all shipped out and off to its new owners. So thank you for watching. If you are new to the channel, please think about subscribing. It's free and I put out content all about the whole process of buying secondhand stuff and flogging it on the internet. I'll pick out another one of my videos and pop it up here for you. So please take a look at this. If it looks interesting, take care and I'll see you soon. Bye.